the Maryland Department of Health Developmental Disabilities Administration Self-Directed Services Training Series, Module 15, Terminations from the Self-Direction Service Model, updated October 2024. This training module will provide you with an overview of terminations from the self-directed service model. This training is a summary with important information on this topic. More information and requirements are found in the Medicaid waiver program applications, laws, regulations, guidance, and policies. The most updated information regarding self-directed services is published in the self-directed services policy and manual that can be found on the DDA's website. Self-directed services terminations means stopping or ending self-directed services. There are two types of terminations. Voluntary terminations are when a participant decides they no longer want to self-direct their services. This means that the participant will receive services from a Medicaid enrolled provider. Involuntary termination Involuntary termination is when the DDA informs the participant that they no longer can participate in self-directed services because they are not following the laws, regulations, policy, or the self-directed services guidance. Participants can choose to remove themselves from the self-directed services model at any time. Participants must contact their coordinator of community services to alert them of the change from self-directed services to traditional. The coordinator of community services would then start a revised person-centered plan. Participants who choose to remove themselves from the self-directed services model are responsible for making sure all timesheets and invoices for services provided under the self-directed services model are reviewed and paid. Involuntary termination. The department has the authority to terminate the participant from the self-directed services model when the participant's health or safety are compromised, or the participant or other team members are not following laws, regulations, policy, or guidance as outlined in the Self-Directed Services Manual. Reasons for termination include the participant no longer meets eligibility criteria for the Medicaid waiver program, the health, safety, or welfare of the participant is compromised by continued participation in the self-directed services model, and the rights of the participant are being compromised. Reasons for termination also include the participant's person-centered plan and or self-directed services budget has not been submitted to the DDA for the DDA's review and approval in a timely manner, and this failure is attributable to the participant or their designated representative. Reasons for termination also include, the participant does not receive services under the self-directed services model in accordance with the participant's person-centered plan and annual budget for 90 days or more, with the exception of extenuating circumstances. Reasons for termination also include failure of the participant, legal guardian, or the participant's designated representative as applicable to comply with any applicable federal, state, or local law, regulation, policy, or procedure. Reasons for termination also include 
failure of the participant, legal guardian, or the participant's designated representative to manage funds with the DDA-approved annual budget, including spending or attempting to spend funds inconsistent with the DDA-approved annual budget. Determined fraud, waste, or abuse could result in immediate termination from the self-directed services model. If the participant is removed from the self-directed services model, the participant will receive a letter with appeal rights. The participant and their team must then begin working to transition services from self-direction to traditional services. This slide includes important resources. Summary. Participants can voluntarily remove themselves from the self-directed services model. The department may involuntarily remove participants from self-directed services for not following laws, regulations, policy, or rules. The participant will receive a letter with appeal rights if involuntarily removed. Determined fraud, waste, or abuse could result in termination, immediate termination, from the self-directed services model. This ends module 15.